this series of videos I'm attempting to repair and restore this PDP1134A vintage computer. I've been working my way through this, found quite a few faults, I've been correcting the faults pretty much as I've been going over. There are still some faults in it that I will uh, deal with later, um, but I've been hooking it up to an RX02 floppy drive system and I can now read and write uh, floppy disks, I can boot from floppy and I've resolved most of the issues that I'm aware of with the system. As I say, there are still a few that I'll deal with later. And uh, it's got to the point now where uh, I'm going to start to reassemble the main unit. I will most likely dismantle it again at some point. I find it easier to work on boards with it um, dismantled like this. And it only takes a few minutes to dismantle these. They look quite complex, but they're quite easy to get apart. Um, but I thought what I'd do now is reassemble this, put the um, base unit back together, reassemble it with the main chassis, put the boards back in, refit the fans and then refit the front, front panel and see if it actually works. And um, I want to do this now because I want to make sure that uh, I'm not going to encounter any problems when I start reassembling this. I shouldn't do, it should work the same as it does here, um, but you can't always tell sometimes things um, happen when you, you put them back together. Um, when you bolt the back plane in, for example, it might twist it slightly and cause some joints to separate. So I want to do that at this point. Uh, in future videos I might um, dismantle it again, but at the moment we'll get it reassembled and uh, see if it will still boot up. So the first thing I need to do is get all this apart, get the board out of the back plane, disconnect the back plane from the power supply, disconnect the logic analyzer probes, disconnect the front panel and um, what I can then do is refit the fans. I've got a speed control system I'm going to include with the fans so I can slow them down just to make it a bit quieter uh, and then we can reunite the power supply block with the main chassis so uh, I'll get all this out of the way and we'll start to reassemble. So I've removed the back plane, I've removed all the PCBs I've taken the front panel off, I've given it a final clean, it will be coming apart again at some point but um, I want to at least uh, get it into a reasonable state before I reassemble. I've uh, put the speed controller in for the fan, I'm only fitting one fan at the moment, I'll fit the second fan uh, if and when I add uh, additional boards at the moment. I've only got boards in the CPU backplane so I don't really need two fans blasting away. Uh, as I say, I'll fit the second fan if ever uh, I need to when I add more boards. The speed controller is simply connected between the uh, quick connectors coming from the transformer, so rather than them plugging directly into the fan, they plug into the speed controller and then the speed controller plugs into the fan. So I can just slow the fan down and uh, again it doesn't need to be going full blast. This is designed to run inside a cabinet with other equipment running so the cabinet might get up to 40 or 45 degrees centigrade so it needs to be kept uh, fairly well ventilated. But I'll be running it out on a bench, I won't be running it in a cabinet so I don't really need that amount of airflow. In addition I don't really have the uh, fourth power supply fitted and I'm not using core memory that sort of thing. So. Um, the amount of power this is dissipating will be fairly minimal. The spread of power will change. At the moment, as I say, I have everything plugged into the CPU backplane and I will be fitting the second 9-slot backplane and that will spread some of the load onto the second 5-volt supply. At the moment, everything is coming off the uh, primary 5-volt rail. Uh, OK, we'll try and power this up. Uh, as usual I've got the remote switch connected because I don't have the front panel plugged in uh, I need the remote switch so I can uh, enable the supply. Uh, so we'll try and power it up and see if the speed controller works. Okay, well hopefully you can hear that the speed controller is working. 
you can make a huge difference to the amount of noise these fans make by just slowing them down very slightly. It doesn't actually have that much of an impact on the airflow. It will change the static pressure, but um, this is fairly open anyway, so you don't need a high static pressure anyhow. And um, hopefully by slowing this down it will make the machine a lot more pleasant to use. And uh, in addition I can probably slow the fans down still further when I do fit the second fan because obviously I'll have more airflow. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is fit this power supply back onto the main chassis. And um, what I can do then is fit the back plane and start plugging the boards back in. So that's the main chassis and the power supply reunited. Now, uh, come on, hands up, who thought this was never going to happen? Okay, next thing to go in is the back plane. So that's the CPU back plane refitted. I've got it reconnected. I'm going to leave the other two back planes out for now. I'll just fit those as and when I need them. And uh, next thing is to start refitting the cards. I've refitted all the cards except for the RX211 floppy drive interface. Um, because it's an NPR card I've put a, a bridging card in plus uh, I need to put a grant card in there anyway. So I'll refit that in a few minutes. I just want to try and boot it up first to see if it will come back to life. This is the first time this machine has been booted for probably 40 years. I don't know when this was last used. Uh, we have of course been running it but it's a very different thing once you start putting everything back into the cabinet. So I'll pull the terminal up into the corner of the screen and we'll try and power this up. And as you can see it has successfully booted. So what I'm going to do now is turn it back off. You can see why I only want one fan running. Um, what I'll do now is refit the RX211 interface card. I'll put a boot floppy into the floppy drive and we'll see if we can boot up to uh, RT11. I've got the RX211 interface card refitted so we'll get the floppy drive and the PDP powered up. Hopefully the PDP will still uh, boot back up to the monitor and then we'll try booting from floppy disk. So, as you can see, it still boots up. So what I'll do for the next video is finish reassembly, put the front panel on, and then I can spin it around and we can see how it's supposed to look with the front panel fitted properly. Uh, you can see now why it's best not to have too many of these fans running. They are very noisy and um, it won't be quite as bad when it's got the uh, top cover and bottom cover on the PDP. Um, bear in mind they normally run inside a cabinet as well so they would be a lot quieter than this uh, but even so uh, you can probably appreciate that the fans are very noisy even running at reduced speed like this. Okay so that's another step forward we've got the main unit uh, mostly reassembled just a couple of the uh, back planes to refit and the front panel.